Hi, I'm Charles Carter. Today we're going to be discussing bulk fill operation of the Case IH 2000 series planters. One thing to keep in mind with the bulk fill system on the planter is the ability to have the headland auto off function. With this, when our planter is raised out of working position, the bulk fill system will shut off, but you're not going to have to shut everything else off on the tractor. Really nice feature about this headland auto off is it gives us the ability on our ends when we raise up to refill with seed, we're not going to have to shut everything down. In this position right here, we can have all our hydraulics running, reload the planter with seed, and continue on with our day increasing productivity. While we're loading seed, keep in mind, always use that 50-50 tout graphite blend of seed flow lubricant. Using that 50-50 blend of seed flow lubricant is going to increase our wear life on parts that the seed is coming in contact with, and also it's going to help the seed flow better, ensuring we've always got seed in our mini hoppers. So when we start talking about making some changes to the bulk fill system, one thing is our air baffles. When we need to go in and change our air baffles for a crop type changeover, the, what we're going to do is we're going to go right back here where our main airline is coming in, disconnect these bolts on the flange, remove that, pull out our old baffle, put in the new baffle based on our crop type or airflow needs, and then rebolt that up. Another thing while the planter is raised, we can go ahead and look at what we need to do for our crop type changeovers dumping seed. So the first thing when we're going to do a crop changeover is we're going to pull this block, insert into the bottom of the bulk tank, that way any seed that's in there is not going to flow through. Once we've done that, we can come right back here to our latches, drop our gates. We can either catch our additional seed that's in there into a bucket or let it fall to the ground if it's not needed later. Once we've dumped that, we can reclose our gates. We're good to go there. Another thing that's important to check on while you're back here is your grounding strap right here. This is in place to reduce static electricity buildup and make sure we're not having any electric buildup on the planter. One thing we need to keep in mind as well is sometimes we'll encounter blockages of the bulk fill system. First thing to check one is we can go in right here to these twist lock connectors and ensure that everything's flowing through those. Second, with our seed block inserted, we can drop these trap doors and ensure that we don't have any foreign material, chunks of seed bag, seed treatment that's in here blocking our flow of seed and air. This concludes our segment on bulk fill operation. If you have further questions, please consult your operator's manual or contact your local Case IH dealer.